Joining us now is Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, who was with the president at the James. And Congresswoman, it seemed like what he had to say was well received at the hospital. Uh, yes, first of all, thank you. It was very exciting to be with the president yesterday for a variety of reasons. First of all, it was the 11th anniversary of the Affordable Care Act, which he played a major role in. It was a big deal then, and it's a big deal now, just as the American Rescue Plan. So it was very timely to talk about medicine, science, and technology, and how those dollars are going in to save lives. There was a real emphasis on on expanding the Affordable Care Act. Does this mean more coverage for more Ohioans? Oh, absolutely. When you think about Ohioans that now will have zero cost and we have some 20,000 people who will get that, when you think about lower costs for some almost 100,000 people, and when you look at because of the Affordable Care Act, something like 130 million people who would have been left off because of a pre-existing condition, this really is about not only saving lives, but it's also restoring and being able to continue lives. Just think about it. 530,000 people have died because of the coronavirus. Think about if you didn't have health care insurance and where that would put you now with this pandemic that we're going through. So it was a great marriage and partnership of thank goodness we did what we did and we're still building on it and putting more dollars in to continue to save lives and to mitigate this coronavirus. Republicans were critical that the president came to Columbus instead of going to the southern border where they see an immigration crisis expanding. How do you answer those critics? Should he have been paying more attention to the migrants that are surging at the border? Well, I, I think it's ridiculous for us to think that the president can't multitask. He's assigned the vice president to take this on. He is in direct contact. He had been on the telephone. He had been developing things through the congressional members. When you look at our Texas delegation that he has been in full contact with, working with them, when you look at members of our caucus, the Tri Caucus, we've been fully engaged with putting a plan together. Now, what the Republicans should have been dealing with is the late start that we got from the past administration and what we inherited. What they should have been looking at holding up the HHS uh, confirmation. So if you don't have a Health and Human Services director because of their lateness, uh, it set us behind. But there is a plan. We've heard it loud and clearly from FEMA being on the ground. We know that we now have Javier Basara, who will be, who has been confirmed and who will lead us. So I'm very comfortable that we will see a lot of movement. Congresswoman, we thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. Ohio Republicans did not roll out the red carpet for President Biden, even though Governor DeWine did greet Air Force One at John Glenn International. The chair of the Republican Party tells us the president.